Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to your MySQL tutorial series. I'm Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. In this video, we are going to be continuing our discussion on database terminology. Two terms you need to be familiar with are entity and attribute. An entity is just a thing we store data about. Attributes are the things we store about that entity. Now I'm going to continually bring up the concept of data integrity. Data integrity means that the attributes we are storing about the entity are accurate, as up-to-date as possible, not redundant, meaning duplicates, and there's no conflicting information. There is a lot of stuff we do inside of a database to enforce data integrity. It's one of the most important things to have when it comes to database development and database design. So if we have an entity, and we have a couple attributes that describe this entity, let's say we have another entity. So two instances of an entity. Let's just say these are users, and each one of these is an attribute that describes the user. What if, by chance, this matched this, this matched this, and this matched this? It would almost be as if we had duplicate data. That's because both of these would look like the same thing. That's because all of the attributes about it are the same. So we could have like, the first name, last name, and email, for example. And we have two users with the same first name, last name, and email. That's confusing. How do we prevent this? Well, we need to introduce something known as a primary key. Now, a primary key is something that is unique and not null. So for example, if this third one was the email, right? We could make this the primary key. And if that was the case, we would be able to distinguish these users because we would force the email to be unique. And that would mean two users couldn't use the same email. This is an example of a natural key. That's because the key is something natural. It's the email. It's something that exists in the real world. Another type of key is a surrogate key. A surrogate key is just a value that's generated by the database, generally an ID. So we could say this user has the ID of seven and this user down here has the ID of eight. We can use that to distinguish the two different users. That way we know that there's actually two users and not one user entered into the database twice. That's because we have this to distinguish it, the ID. Now, what do you do if you want to reference this primary key in another table? Or if you want to reference another column? For example, we might have a comment table and this comment table might reference a user. How do you do that? That introduces the concept of a foreign key, and that's the word we will start with in the next video. Thanks guys for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. As always, I ask that you please click subscribe to support this channel, and if you like this video, give it a like. I will see you in the next video.